There are those mornings when I've woken up on the wrong side of the bed. Yes, I, I've done that. And we, we've all had those kind of, of mornings when that, that moment you wake up, you instantly have that, that bah humbug attitude. Maybe you start recalling the things that happened yesterday or, or the things that are going to happen today and you're not looking forward to it. And, and, and everything just kind of disappoints you or, or frustrates you. Or put it in, in the title of that great book, A Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day. Well, there are those times that that has happened. In James chapter 1, starting at verse 2, he says, Count it all joy, my brothers, when you meet trials of various kinds, for you know that the testing of your faith produces steadfastness. And let steadfastness have its full effect, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. Count it all joy. Really? Think about that. All, all those problems that you have, all those frustrations that you have, all those hardships that you have should be considered joy? How can that be possible? Well, instead of just rolling your eyes and, and closing your Bible when after reading that, take a deep breath. And keep reading. See, God is sharing this, this amazing and, and beautiful encouragement with us. The, the Christians at the time of James were also going through frustrations. They were also having their disappointments. They woke up on the wrong side of the bed, so to say, just like we do. Things weren't, weren't joyful in their lives. They, they, they felt like Everything was, was, was a struggle. They, they, they were faced with, with, with persecution that was happening around them. They, they were dealing with great injustices. They felt hopeless and, and loneliness. They felt fear and confusion. And, and so you ask, how can you be joyful in this? How could they be joyful in that? Well, we face this also. Co-workers, they, they hurt us. Parents don't seem to, to, to love us. Our, our finances seem to be a struggle. Health doesn't sustain. Life is hard. And negativity, well, negativity surrounds us. Our attitude robs us of joy and peace. James is leading them to control their thoughts and change their attitudes. Oh, he, he was leading them to seek peace, to pause, to refocus their faith, even though it, it seemed tough. James is, is instructing the, the, the Christians then, and he's instructing us now to seek God's help. And to move from this, this feeling of negative to see God and to see that he is always with us. That he is always leading us. That he is always helping us. And he is walking with us. Oh, what joy. What joy can we have with that? It, it, it's absolutely amazing joy because we are not facing these terrible, no good, very bad days alone. God is with us so that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. Well, don't let your attitude destroy your day. Seem, uh, things may seem difficult, but look at it in a different perspective. It isn't always easy you are never alone. Let your attitude be one of joy. Let those that see you see joy. 
in, in all the things that you do and all the words that you say because God is continually to fill us completely so that we are lacking nothing. Count it all joy. Count it all joy. Have an amazing and blessed day. God in my living, there in my breathing, God in my waking, God in my sleeping. God in my resting, there in my working, God in my thinking, God in my speaking, be my everything, be my everything, be my everything, be my everything. God in my hoping, there in my dreaming, God in my watching, God in my waiting, God in my laughing, there in my weeping, God in my hurting, God in my healing, be my everything. Christ to me, Christ to me, Christ to me, the hope of glory. You are everything. Christ to me, Christ to me, Christ to me, the hope of glory. Be my everything. Be my everything. Everything.